new at five. Those key fobs that we all use to lock and unlock our cars are posing a security problem, especially with some newer cars. That keyless technology is getting easier to hack, and it's making you and your vehicle vulnerable. There is something you can do to keep hackers away. Christina Gonzalez has the answer. Is that keyless? Yeah. <laughs> getting into your car without a physical key. Ever worry about security? Not really. Mm -hmm. No. Hackers have been hacking into the fobs. Mm, yeah. You really? <laughs> Exactly what this team of researchers did recently. You saw the door locked, right? Well, they have a computer nearby, and in just a matter of seconds, the car lights go on, and yes, the door is open. And I thought, you know what, maybe let's just try this, and let's try it on my car. Next thing you know, it, it, it worked. He is a junior at the University of Dartmouth. His co-researcher is IT security researcher Blake Berry, who'd rather remain incognito. That's his photo on his Instagram. But yeah, they're legit. And if you think they only got the door open, they did start the car. Were you surprised how easy it was? Uh, 200%. I mean, an eight-year-old could do it. Their computer could have been in a vehicle parked nearby at a site capturing the signal being sent out by your FOB's built-in transmitter. And the car owner could have been in the store, not realizing someone broke into their vehicle according to AAA warnings. They've come up with a device that would actually amplify your FOB signal so it doesn't have to be right next to the car, but they can still get into it using your FOB signal. And what they're trying to do is pick up your codes. Michael Chan knows. He actually programs backup and replacement fobs at the business he started 20 years ago, duplicating keys. Now it's fobs. And he says later vehicle models with rolling codes on their fobs are safer. The pins keep rolling, so it's hard to duplicate okay. the existing number. But it's not available in older systems like the pre-2021 models Rajesh was testing, which many cars companies don't upgrade. But they don't implement um, this technology anyway, which is kind of alarming. If they did, then what we're doing essentially wouldn't work at all. So when you leave your vehicle parked at the store lot or even at home, what can you do? Or, you know, when you're at home, keep your keys with those fobs in a metal container because that's going to prevent the signal from going out or, or receiving. Uh, or you can invest in one of these RFID pouches. Mm -hmm. The pouches act like a shield and are widely available. You can get them on Amazon for about like 10, maybe 20 bucks. And that basically prevents any signal from going out. I mean, nothing is 100% secure and probably never will. Take stuff out your car. Don't leave it in your car. You know what I mean? Even if, you, even if they fix it, they'll find another way to get in. Go in all you want. That's what I have insurance. And we do have some more hints and a link to those researchers and what they did on our website at foxla.com. In Upland, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox 11 News.